Hi, this is Anna Christina sharing tools of hope with the Resilience Builders. Right now, I want to talk about why counseling doesn't work. Three reasons why counseling doesn't work. Number one, the biggest thing that I see or hear regarding counseling not working is that the person isn't willing. They're not willing to go. They're not willing to try. And honestly, there's a part of them that just doesn't want to have to make those changes or open up the dirty laundry. Also, not being ready. I might be willing, but I'm not ready right now. I have too much going on right now. I'll be ready in two weeks after, after I heal from uh, outpatient surgery, or I'll be ready in two weeks after I finish moving in, right? There's a difference between will, being willing and ready. Yes, I'm willing to go, but not right now. Readiness is kind of time. Willingness is whether you're willing to do it kind of in your heart and gut. Okay. So number one reason why counseling doesn't work is that you're not quite willing or not quite ready. It's not in your heart to really do it. You're not all in and or it's not the right time. Number two, part of why counseling doesn't work, traditional talk therapy may not work when you have a lot of trauma or PTSD, a lot of anger, sadness, fear, guilt, shame, blame that's really caught and really tangled up, and you've maybe maybe you've nurtured it for a long time. Part of what happens is that the emotion gets stuck in a certain part of the brain that doesn't know time. It can't read a clock. It can't look at a calendar because it doesn't have language. I know this is crazy. When I learned this, I thought this was nuts. And there's a part of the brain that deals with emotion, and it doesn't have language. It doesn't have a sense of time. What does that mean? That means that when the emotion or the trauma gets stuck, it's going to be extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, for just talking to get it out so that it can get unstuck. So what's the answer, right? One of the answers is to find specialists that do alternative types of counseling or therapy, or they're certified to do it. So you might have somebody that does something like CBT or EMDR or MER or havening, or tapping, or thought field therapy, or shaking. There's all these different alternative therapies. Guess what? They are aimed toward helping get the trauma out of that part of the brain that has no language, getting the trauma out and released from the part of the body that's holding that trauma. Wait a second, Anna Christina, my body's holding trauma? Absolutely. When you get stressed and your neck gets knotted up, when you get stressed and your jaw clenches, when you get stressed and your stomach goes bad or your heart starts beating faster, or you start to sweat or you start to shake because you're anxious, that part of that is because your body is holding the anxiety and the trauma. Okay. And so the second way that counseling doesn't work is when there's a lot of trauma, uh, past trauma, whether you remember it or not, that might be trapped. So to look for those alternative uh, uh, therapies or certifications. The third reason why counseling doesn't work is because, frankly, because there's a stigma. Now, there might be a stigma that's put on you from the ex external stigma, and some might be internal. Let me explain the difference. External stigma would be your culture, your family, your coworkers, your agency's culture telling you that getting help is weak. Going to the counselor is a blank move, right? Like, um, going to the counselor is... Uh, you know, stupid. You're just, you're just weak. You're stupid. You're, uh, I don't even want to say the word, right? Starts with a P, ends with a Y. Uh, but, the, but guys use that a lot. Okay. Guys use that a lot. And so what you want to do is take a look at the external stigma. What are they going to think? Who cares what they think? What's the most important is that you stay healthy, that you can continue not only to help other people, but that you can continue to maintain your health, your relationships, your personal development, so that you can continue to be a light in the darkness. Okay. Internal is different. External is coming from, you know, from other people. Internal is different. So this is what I see too. Somebody had one experience, one experience with a counselor a long time ago or even recently. And it wasn't a very good experience for whatever reason. Either the counselor, um, it just wasn't a fit or the counselor, it, was, it wasn't a fit because they didn't know exactly kind of what you do and it just didn't jive. Um, for whatever reasons, there's not a fit. 
Maybe they're, they, you have to drive too far. Maybe the techniques that they use just don't fit with how you think. Maybe there wasn't good rapport, okay? Part of what happens with the internal stigma is that we put it on ourselves in two ways. Number one, you know what? I went to go see a counselor and it sucked, so I'm not going to go back. That's internal. That's a choice. Number two, internal stigma is you judging yourself. So external was you feeling like other people judge you, but internal is you judging yourself and saying, you know, I'm a wuss if I, uh, if I raise my hand and say I need help. I'm the one that people call for help. How can I be raising my hand for help? right? So three reasons why counseling doesn't work. You're not willing, you're not ready. Here's the deal. A good counselor will help you be able, but you got to be willing and you got to be ready. And willingness is the all-in-ness. Readiness is the time factor. And ability is what you weren't taught when you were younger, how to deal with all these stresses. But a good counselor uh, can help you with that. And just for full disclosure, I'm not a counselor. I, I love counselors, but I'm not a counselor. I'm a coach, a little bit different. But let's talk about then the second thing, the second reason counseling doesn't work is traditional talk therapy that doesn't address the trauma that's stuck in the somatic body, that's stuck in the brain, um, that doesn't have the parts of language. That will be a reason that counseling doesn't work for you. Number three, the stigma, external stigma coming from other people and internal stigma coming from you, from your experience with one or two counselors in the past um, and or your own judgment going on in your brain. So there we go. Three tools why counseling doesn't work. And again, uh, when you find a good counselor, it's a lifesaver. This is Anna Christina sharing tools of hope with the Resilience Builders. I'll see you in the next video.